we are in. Oh, he's gone. Little pilot grabbed it. So, tides well and truly come up now. Just got behind this rock because the, um, the wind is just so cold, it's just ripping through me. So, we've not done very well at all. Um, we've had one little pollock which grabbed a spinner and he just dropped off as we're about to pick him out of the water. And we've had one bite on the conga rod, just had a couple of teeth marks in a, in a mackerel flapper, so I assume a very small conga reel. And the tide's coming in, it's getting fairly well up. I'd say maybe another hour to go, I don't know. We're just gonna carry on fishing. We're running low on bait, but we've still got it. We're still fishing. This is the kit. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, can't really put my, finger on it but this is the first trip of probably going to be maybe five or six so we always get a few crap ones but I'll keep you posted well and truly I'm just thinking the conga really that's a, I think it's just a night thing that's the only way you're gonna get one really nice dull day for it but I think if we we're in the west coast of Ireland I think you wouldn't have a problem but come on sink a bit I think let it sink a bit so I find the mono is quite good on the rocks um, it's sort of with the braid with a fine braid can get caught on the barnacles and stuff <coughs> you can snag up a lot more but with mono it can sort of go into the kelp and the and the barnacles and the corners of the rocks and it somehow seems to bounce out or just a, a couple of taps and it'll but nothing major on that conga bait down there Right, so we're just rigging up this conga rig. There's no hurry. Just want the tide to come in a bit first. Just rig it up anyway. It's ready. So there you go. So that's my 6.0 Cox and Roll. 100 pounds. I think it's. Um, Veals, that one, and uh, swivel, 50 pound braid, a um, slider there, and a rock bottom. That's it, pretty much. Put on half a mackerel, mackerel, mackerel hedge, mackerel flapper, mackerel fillet. It's got to be mackerel, from my experience. 8,000 reel. Just got a four inch rod, estuary, anytime, anywhere, estuary rod, 8,000 size reel, 50 pound raid. We're just gonna whack it off. Here at Cape Cornwall. And um, just float fishing a bit of mackerel like they're trying to get a rass or a pollock or something, or garfish. 